It's the centre of Manchester's largest green space. Redesigned in 2002, Piccadilly Gardens has gone from somewhere to relax to this. As a major transport hub, thousands pass through it each day. But what do they really think of it? I think it is. I think it's very run down at the moment. I think it's quite dull. Um, I think I think the, what they had with the wheel was first off was very good, and now they took that down. Now it just very looks yeah very plain, and nothing here is here at all. Apart from the wheel of Manchester, there hasn't been much here since the First World War when it became a designated open space. Questionable modern art and the aptly nicknamed Berlin Wall are a far cry from the site's 1950s heyday. The colour is something people want to reclaim and it couldn't look more different. That looks just extremely, that just looks way better, doesn't it? It looks more colourful, it looks more vibrant, it looks good. Oh yes, a contrast. <laughs> it's certainly seen a fall from grace, but how can we shed the grey for the green? A, a picnic area, which there may be, but I can't <laughs> see any. <laughs> um, and yeah, flowers are nice, something bright, colourful, fountains are good. I would have them definitely almost reverted back to there and make it definitely make it more colourful, make it more make it more appropriate to the city, make it more so make it something that Manchester can be proud of as well. The council are now tasked with making it a space for the people, not the pigeons, to be proud of.